I am just going to do a quick review of Pomegranate or the Toilet by Aldi. It is surprisingly enough a unisex scent. If, if you want to compare Pomegranate Noir um, to something like CK1, which is also unisex, I mean, it's, it's far more masculine than CK1 so I don't see any reason the only reason why I think um, men wouldn't want to wear this is because it is it, it's so popular um, in, in, in the female community in certainly in my neck of the woods in, uh, in Ireland um, I'm pretty sure it's the same UK I, I, I can't speak for the, um, the USA but um, it's a really really um, popular fragrance um, amongst the women. There's so many knockoffs of pomegranate noir going around now. Maybe it's becoming a little bit common, uh, but but I think it's a really nice fragrance. It kind of it's one of those fragrances that mixes the you know the fruity and a kind of a dark. I peeled off the back label. They just um, I did stuff like you know flammable hundred mils ingredients and stuff. So I just took that off. But um, I mean, looking at it, you can see how much of a knockoff it is. And if I compare it to a real bottle, I mean, you can see what's going on here. I mean, it's just, it, obviously, you look even more the same, you know, with the label at the back of it. Um, yeah, I mean, the corks, the corks just look... You know, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, about the scent, um, I'm just gonna give this, just gonna give this a spray. Um, okay. Um, Good news about this, if, if, if you're a man, it's it's definitely more masculine um, than the real deal. Um, I don't, it's it's missing something in, in the opening. Is it um, something that makes it a little bit kind of unisex, a little bit more on the feminine side? Um, like I'm looking at the top notes here of... Um, I mean, like I'm getting almost straight up cloves here, you know, very clovey. Um, I think, from what I remember when I, when I tried this before, it does some more notes come out um, in a while. But um, it's like, it's to me, when I, not knowing really too much about the notes, to me it was like it was, it, it was missing something like, although it says middle notes here. Uh, one of the middle notes is rose. It was like it was missing something like rose or something or something like that. Performance on this, it for me, about six hours with nine sprays. Um I would say projection is average to below average. It's not overpowering with nine sprays. It's kind of just, you know, it's it's very average to maybe we are asking maybe I should spray a little bit more on myself, you know. Um, but I, I think that's not a bad thing because, you know, there's there's a girl um, at that works uh with me and she just stinks the place out. When I walk down the hallway, I know that she's been around because I can smell pomegranate noir in the hall. And sure enough, I go into the next room. There she is. Like so, I mean, you don't want to be. Like, I think I don't know how many sprays of um, uh, um she's put on herself, but she's just, um she's over spraying and it's it's just it's just it's too much. It's just kind of please like stop. I got this for seven euro. It's probably be around six in the UK. Um, is it worth it? Yeah, I mean, it's it's seven euro, like you know. If you like the smell of 
Joe Malone, just get it. Seven euro. I mean, 100 mils. You can top yourself up till the cows come home. You can get pomegranate overdose. Um, so yeah, like, I mean, I'd recommend it simply because it's seven euro. If it was 20 euro, maybe I would say no. You know, but for seven euro, I'd recommend it. That was my review of pomegranate by Aldi. Um, if you found this video interesting, uh, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe. Thank you.